unusual to see a patient in this state. He's technically not comatose, but he's not conscious either. I'm not sure what to make of it. To be fair, I'm not experienced in this field. Would you say he's vegetative, or is it a twilight state? Well, the EEG showed brain activity. He did open his eyes last night. From what I heard, it was very brief and likely caused by a seizure. Maybe that's the key to finding out who he is. Hey, Jordan. How's the patient? Uh, from what I can see, no change. How's Lulu? Yeah, she's holding steady. Well, I just heard from Laura. She and Kevin made it safely to Nairobi and met with her contacts, so she's going to let me know if they get any leads on Lucky. You wish you could be in two places at once? All the time. Hmm. I'm not doing anything anywhere. Laura's off trying to find Lucky. I'm here with Lulu. She doesn't even know it. Yes, she does. <laughs> and Laura has contacts in East Africa that you don't. I just wish there was something I could do, you know, to bring Lucky back. There's got to be something I can do to help do that from here. No change. I'll let you know if there's any indication that the patient's coming to. Thank you. So this guy's got no ID, no phone, prints aren't in the system, which means he's not ex-military and hasn't had any run-ins with the law. Dr. Robinson did say he had a distinctive tattoo on his back. Uh, all right, I guess we'll follow up on that. I'm going to call the WSB in the meantime. You think they're going to care about the local PD over something like this? Possibly, if I drop Laura's name. Okay, well, get her to try. And I am going to pursue every avenue of this investigation that I can think of. That man matters to some.